Welcome everyone to another installment with Steve, your everyday guy. This is a video about a little adventure I took up the mighty Missouri River. I set out from historic Cobb Point, just like Lewis and Clark, for their journey up the river. One huge advantage that I had that Lewis and Clark did not is I had the Garmin Echo Map with Garmin Navionics. Now, I'd never used that before or even really known what it was till I hit the river. But once I got on the river, I noticed that there's a channel clearly defined in the river with a red dotted line that runs down the middle. And what that is is that that's the navigation channel that the Corps of Engineers maintains on the river. That way, by looking at my map, I knew exactly where I was and had zero worries about obstructions or something I was not able to see. Perhaps the first impression you get as you see this river is, wow, look at how flat and calm the river is. That is what makes this river so treacherous. They do not call it the mighty Missouri for nothing. When you go to launch your boat, you'll notice the river has a pretty low visibility. We are talking about one to two inches of visibility in the water. The Missouri River is the longest river in North America. The majority of its length is mud bottom, so there's so much sediment suspended within the water. This means that there, if there's a hazard under the water, you have zero chance of seeing it. Right here's a great shot of just how convenient the Navionics are as I look towards the shore and then look back at the screen and make sure I'm in the proper shipping channel. Once you get on the water, you realize that this river is not what it looked like from the shore. As you go down the river, you can't go more than five feet without seeing a whirlpool, which tells you there's something going on underneath the surface. And if you didn't need that to tell you, you can feel it in the tiller of your motor. I've been on lakes with one or two foot chop, and that was less effort to steer than my boat on this supposedly flat, smooth river. Overall on the river, my Hinkai 18 horsepower performed pretty well heading upstream. My top speed heading upstream was approximately 15 miles per hour. To give you an idea, when I'm on a lake, I'm usually getting about 17 miles per hour from my top speed. As I heard turned and headed downstream, you'll notice the top speed picked up quite a bit. In the top left corner of the fish finder, you'll notice my top speed went from 15 miles an hour all the way up to 22 miles an hour. So on that trip back, I was really flying down the river. I hope you're enjoying watching my video. Please be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. That way you get notified when my latest videos are uploaded. As I headed back to Cobb Point, I got to see an amazing view that I don't get to see too often. And that's the view of Kansas City from the Missouri River Valley. If you look up there, you can see the skyline and how it's silhouetted against the sky. Here we are heading back to the confluence of the Kansas River, or what's also known as the Cobb River, and the Missouri River. Right there on the right side of the frame, you see Cobb Point jutting out, and just on the left side of that is where the Kansas River actually meets the Missouri River. When Lewis and Clark visited Cobb Point on June 26, 1804, it was raw, untamed wilderness, and in fact, they had a bit of an issue to do with that raw, untamed wilderness. As I traveled back through it, I'm surrounded by industrial to one side and an airport on the left. Thinking, wow, how times have certainly changed. Right there, you can really see the differences in the two currents. If you look at the top right of the screen, you'll see how the two currents of the Missouri River and the Kansas River meet. As I went through this area, I was amazed at how tricky it was. My top speed went from 22 miles an hour all the way down to where my boat was actually struggling to make 9 miles an hour just because the two currents were fighting each other as they met. As the journey concludes, you'll see the boat ramp up there on the right side of the frame. It's just one of many boat ramps that the city of Kansas maintains on the Kansas River. 